Hey, happy campers, John the Casual RVer here. And this is gonna be a part three, more like a follow-up troubleshooting video on the uh, Dometic 7640 uh, Macerator Toilet. Now, if you haven't gotten a chance to watch my two other videos about the function, uh, how, how it works, and the do's and don'ts, and care and maintenance of it, uh, you might wanna go back and look at those uh, sometime, but this is, this video is mainly going to be a troubleshooting video on the Dometic 7640 Macerated Toilet. A uh, real quick review. I'm going to review, I call this my cast of characters. It's uh, the, the main components of the Ma Dometic 7640 Macerator Toilet. Uh, by the way, they're all brand new. So um, I'll do a quick review of there and then some... Uh, some troubleshooting, and then again, a, a quick highlight on some do's and don'ts. So, uh, let's get at it now. Uh, in uh, 2019, mid-2019, uh, the Rev Group, which is uh, Fleetwood Holiday Rambler, uh, they went in mo on their, some of their base models up to their Discovery lineup. To, they got rid of the vacuum flush uh, toilets and went to the macerator toilets. And I'm sure anybody that has or have had the vacuum flush system has kind of known their, uh, their problems and quirks and stuff like that. So this uh, Dometic, uh, it's called the Master Flush Series 70640, uh, phenomenal toilet. It's been in the marine industry for many, many years and and fairly trouble-free if the proper maintenance and care is, is given to this toilet. So let, let's get at it here. There again, it's a, uh, a porcelain bowl, really nice, um, kind of a composite uh, toilet seat and lid. Now, uh, first main uh, part of the component is your 12-volt activated uh, water flush valve. This kind of sticks in the back of that. Uh, the most important part of this particular toilet is your macerator pump. There again, this is your discharge tube. These are your veins, right? And that's a really small hole, like I said in my other videos, it's, uh, why it's very important. This toilet uh, loves a lot of water and uh, only, uh, you know, the, the human solid waste and toilet paper. And I highly recommend RV toilet paper. That's my personal opinion. And the reason why is that little small discharge tube. This is uh, kind of the uh, bellow flange that goes on here. And so it goes on like that and then mounts just like that. So as soon as you brought, as soon as the toilet, uh, the product, goes to the end of the bowl, it immediately goes down here and then uh, contacts the impeller veins. And then this is what they call your discharge tube, really important uh, part of the, the system. So kind of uh, attaches like that, but there, there again, the, the orientation is not right, but but you get the just right. So once this pump starts spooling up and spinning at a very, very high rate of speed, the, uh, the waste at this point is all, it's almost liquefied, goes through this out here. And this is, this is actually a one-way check, uh, check valve. It's a, it's a duck bill, duck bill type. And you can kind of see that right there. Right? So uh, the more liquid goes down here, the better because I don't know if you can see it, but it's if it's not liquefied, if you're shoving a lot of product down there too quick and it is jams up the blades and uh, goes out fairly large, it's gonna get stuck in here and you're gonna you're gonna have a real bad day. So and we also have, here is your, it is only activated by the uh, foot pedal. 
So you have a control board, which is right here, 12 volt operated. And uh, there again, there's a butterfly valve right here, contact valve, two contacts right here, and which, depending on which flush mode you have set the toilet to, there again, you can set it what they call a dry bowl flush, which is 0.21 of a gallon, or the regular uh, flush, which is uh, 0.83 of a gallon. And there again, on my last video, I highlighted it, how to, re to program your flush modes. You wanna hold the pedal down all the way to the floor for 10 seconds, and that will go either into the dry bowl flush or bring it back to the regular flush mode. So, uh, with this particular unit, and especially if you have the um, precision circuits touch panel, you have another part of this whole system. There, <coughs> excuse me, there is a float level sensor that's in the black tank, and it's a single float that goes up and down. So, what happens is uh, once your a black tank fills up to uh, just over three quarters of a tank, that sensor is going to come up and shut the system down via this yellow sensor wire. This sensor wire, uh, if you have one or two macerator toilets, each toilet is going to have this. So that sensor will send a signal to this yellow sensor uh, wire and stop the toilets from flushing. Now there again, uh, that float level sensor and the precision tank pa panel need to be reset every once in a while. And I've heard of, you know, complaints of the sensors aren't very accurate. There again, they're a sonic uh, sensor that are on the um, outside of the uh, black and gray tanks. They're stuck on there. They're not the through tank probe type sensors. So they're not, uh, they're not gonna get any scum or any uh, waste on them. Um, but historically, yeah, they're, they're, they're inaccurate also. But those sensors have nothing to do with this yellow, um, with the yellow wire, all right? This gets its signal directly from inside the blank tank through a float uh, sensor, which slides up and down. So if you happen to have that problem where all of a sudden you've, uh, can no longer flush the toilets. I first recommend dump and flush the, the black tank. Try it again. If that still does not uh, fix the issue, what you're going to want to do is reset the precision uh, circuits uh, panel. You want to uh, shut off the power at the aux switch for 20 seconds, turn it back on, that should regain, uh, basically, reset the panel, reset that uh, float switch, and then you should be able to flush again. If that still does not return the toilets back, toilet or toilets back to flush mode, then you're going to want to disconnect this yellow uh, sensor wire. And the best way to do that is there's two... Um, Covers on the uh, on the toilet itself, on the base of the toilet, uh, two screws down at the, uh, near the base. Remove them, and then there's a wiring harness that comes out of, of the base with the yellow wire on it. You can just uh, disconnect it, or you, in, in, if they have not put a connector on it, you'll have to cut it. So uh, hopefully that kind of uh, clears up some of the issues with this toilet. There again, I don't I don't recommend uh, uh, drop in or pods in this toilet because if you flush it immediately without those drop ins or pods being one hundred percent dissolved, it could easily damage the impeller. Uh, seize the impeller on the pump or get stuck in the discharge tube 
uh, in the pump itself and you're, you're going to wind up having a real bad day. Uh, there are plenty of good powders or liquid tank treatments that can do the job that will not hurt the, uh, the toilet uh, and the impeller, the impeller pump system. So I hope this kind of uh, helps you with your, with your troubleshooting and uh, gives you a little more clear picture on how the Dometic 7600 Master Flush Macerator Toilet Series uh, works. So hope you guys have a good day. There again, in, uh, enjoy the journey, not only the destination and happy camping. We'll see you later.